Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, soul star blossoms of the blue lotus lineage of 12D Venus. The unicorn nation is with us transmitting the free spirit codes of the one true race of earth angelics of the new golden age of pure light. The horn of our rainbow nation has been blown and the higher dimensionals look on in celebration of our task well done. We are not totally out of the woods yet, of course, but we have succeeded beyond expectations, and we are beyond the threshold of falling back into the dark ages of ignorance and constant strife and chaos. All is coming into divine order for this organic ascension to finalize the Omega Codes of the merging and great emergence through the harmonic convergence of all timelines and dimensions with full access to the Akash and all things sacred and divine. Today is day two of ten consecutive galactic activation portals in a row in the Omega Column of the Zolkin. We enter the galactic signature Keen 147 blue self-existing hand. This is the left-hand path of the healing of the divine feminine mother energy and the Venusian lineage of the new earth. The queens of the four directions have returned in full glory for the final coronation of the sovereignty of humanity. As we receive total crown activations, the halo of the protection and ascension is emanating from the crystal palace within the center cave of the clan of the bear nation. All the kingdoms of heaven and earth join forces for the final quantum leap of consciousness into the paradise we have worked so long and hard to manifest. Conscious co-creators of the Holy Spirit, we rise together and lead the way home to the eternal bliss land of Buddha awareness. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred New Earth scribe, so be sure to stick around and please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below on what you're feeling, experiencing your visions, and also please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. With these powerful energetics flowing in, we had many earth changes and activations all over this realm. We had massive flash flooding in the sacred portal, Africa and Western Uganda. This is close to our powerful portal of sacred Lake Victoria, the Lake of the Divine Goddess, and not too far from the border with Kenya. We also had many activations all over this realm with 123 M1.5 or great or earthquakes in the last 24 hours. One, two, three, the most powerful 5.3. Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, New Atlantean Energy, Divine Masculine. And this was earlier today at 5 UTC, 27.141 Latitude, 44.348 Longitude, coded with the 144 and the 444 code. Coast of Central Peru, another 44, Divine 44 coming in, in the heart of Lemuria. Hana, Hawaii, 4.7, 41 kilometer depth, 441 code, the mirror, the 144, Banda C, 42, Panama, Central America, 40, Chile, South America, 4.9, Andes Mountains, home of the sacred condors on the border of Bolivia, Taiwan, 45, Puerto Rico, 34, and the root chakra, Pachamama, South Sandwich Islands, 53, another 53 activation, 88, Lions Gate, Lyra Nation coming in, Chagos, Archipelago, 50, Tonga, 49, Haiti, 4.5, Council of Nine Energy, Puerto Rico, 34, and the crown of Lemuria, we had a trinity of activations, 441 coming in. We had triple crown activations, Aquaton, Alaska 3-8, Aleutian Islands 3-4, Kodiak Island, Alaska 3-5.
Tonga on the Ring of Fire, another powerful 4.9 activation, 13 Divine Goddess, Philippines 4.5, Willow, Alaska, another Crown 3.2, Lovelock, Nevada 3.2, Rad Islands, Aleutian Islands 4.9, Haiti 4.4, 4. Argentina, South America, also Andes Mountains, Kundalini, Pachamama 4.3, 7 of Creation, Puerto Rico 3.0, The Sacred Portal, Africa, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 5-0, 10 kilometer depth, 5 into the 10. Aleutian Islands, 4-8, 12 Divine Feminine. Another final crown activation for this great coronation, the activation of our crystalline solar light bodies of eternal life. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 13 degrees, 55 minutes Scorpio. The sun is at 6 degrees, 11 minutes, Aquarius. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 7 degrees, Aquarius. A child born out of an eggshell. This is the emergence of the Heoka of the white gold eagle. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 14 degrees, Scorpio. Telephone linemen at work installing new connections wonder what they're up to from astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck moonology from yasmin boland the card she pulled for you today full moon and capricorn the end of a tough cycle approaches how hard are you willing to work for what you want this card is reminding you that effort is required work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up if you are wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more attune to the moon release control and trust the universe additional meanings for this card a professional project may be ending now admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed find a balance between your personal and private lives it's time to stop fearing the worst the teaching the full moon in capricorn has a very strong work ethic and energy and will more than likely come up when you're asking a professional question. If your question is about another matter, it will serve as a much-needed reminder to move through any feelings of hopelessness you may have been feeling about your situation, and this applies no matter when you draw the card. Making a plan is a far better use of your time. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amanda Lawrence. At 0900 hours UK time Tuesday, incredibly strong incoming energies. The intensity of incoming energetics started approximately midnight last night, UK time, intense to the head. More crown activations from Divine Sistar of the Light Valerie A. Elster. 2.2 Solar Christos Masculine Dragon plus Feminine Etheric Transmission Activation opening the golden gates of remembrance and abundance. And from Divine Sister of the Light Ramona Lappin, fully surrendered and atone with the Divine. Wow, the energies and activations flowing in are truly beyond words. But we do try, yet they do no justice. It's all coming fully online. Our avatar crystal, guardian self, and plasma light bodies. Nova Gaia's plasma light body. Every cell turning into crystalline liquid plasma light. Our crystalline rainbow golden triple helix DNA activates all 12 plus 1 and all 15 strands, reinstating and activating our full divine blueprint of the divine template of the 144 plus 1, the deepest merging with our Christed self, our God source self, the great I am, as we merge, unify, and blend with all. The deepest of divine love bursting forth from our sacred crystal hearts, radiating out the pure emanation of pure source love for all of life everywhere, beyond bliss, pure source consciousness. 
at one mint. The deepest gratitude for all of our journeys fills our hearts and open them wide up. It opens our eyes to all the new perceptions, which opens us up to and manifests all new realities now. As we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. We see the perfection of it all now. We are receiving super powerful interdimensional plasma infusions and waves and are getting ready for the tsunami and the final purification and full compression breakthrough event. This is what is anchoring now, yet everyone is at a different stage on their journey, and for some it may feel like a lot is coming up for clearing and an increase in anxiety is felt. Just be present with all that arises and keep alchemizing. Keep loving it all and keep going and bringing all deeper within to resolve it all and come to inner peace again and again. Keep coming back to your sacred crystal heart and breathe. Let pure divine source love wash away your remaining wounds, trauma, fears, illusions, false projections, and doubts. Let love set you free. The divine love that heals all now, quantum style, as new realities based in unity consciousness, a new earth that is ready to be rebirthed and arises from within us now, from within our sacred DNA now fully ready to activate, our sacred aura, orb, body surrounding our Merkaba and light body field is our multidimensional chariot of light, transporting us to different realms, yet simultaneously all already here and all around us, nowhere to go, only deeper and deeper and deeper within, all activates now as divinely ordained, in full surrender to and at one with the divine, surrendering to divine will while knowing and holding the frequency and the feeling of all going to be more than just all right. Think and feel mind-blowing, heart and mind-opening miracles and divine orchestrations as the divine plan now unfolds in its full glory. For as it is spoken, so as it is done. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from divine angel of the light, soul light. Greetings, friends of the new earth. A beautiful day is to claim your power and divine right of freedom, to share what you know so that your wisdom may ignite the spark of awakening in others around you. Rise like the sun and let the world know the days of darkness are over. You are becoming masters of light. This is done through the integration of all your aspects, understanding the core beliefs, pains, triggers, and allowing the disillusion of all that which no longer serves you moving beyond the idea of impermanence and other limitations. Do not participate in the collective fear relating to any of the dark tactics. If you do, you too will become entangled in the matrix. You are a unique and sovereign being. Decide your own fate. No one can put an expiration date on your existence. You are an eternal soul. Shift your focus, shift your frequency, experience a new reality. What do you want to see in the future? How do you want to feel? What type of a reality and world do you want to be a part of? Focus your thoughts and energies on your soul's desires. Peace, love, joy. You are the eternal soul. Live in this reality knowing that powerful truth. Be as the soul is. With this realization you move from the law of attraction to the law of creation. You are a creator. Begin creating the reality you want for the world you exist in. Take action. Imagine you are in the etheric realms where you exist as a whole pure light being with no limitations, full access to all of your spiritual gifts. Now see this being also anchored in this reality here and now. This is you, the soul in wholeness and completeness. One must do everything necessary to tune into the soul's frequency so the ability to view life from the soul's perspective is strengthened. In this way we become aligned with the soul's purpose and highest good in this lifetime. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jenny Schiltz. New codes incoming from the sun. In meditation yesterday morning I was given a message to share with everyone from the council of light that I work with. Two beings shared information as there was much excitement. First council member. Many are feeling that the earth system and humanity are lost and will not be able to right itself. There will be much information in the coming time to confirm this supposition. We would like to share with you that this is not the truth. 
Your earth is not dying, nor are her people. Humanity and the planet will survive this transition. Yet if the creative potential of humanity is derailed into a catastrophe of asteroid starvation, war, and other cataclysmic events, this transition will be made much harder for all. With the intensity and frequency of the information coming at the population, discernment is difficult yet paramount to master. We have urged each of you through the years to master discernment, to master your truth. It was for precisely this time. For to move through this transition with greater ease, one must be able to see through the fabricated reality into the truth, to see through the overlay that has been created. We have urged each of you to use your heart space as a guide, as your place within to center. We have also urged you to spend time in nature to help clear the distortions within the field that create a disconnect from your highest aspect and source. Now we are urging you to connect with nature, not only for the clarity, but for the connection itself. The interface that made such interaction with nature and her kingdoms difficult is no longer in place. It could not maintain itself in the vibrational rise of the planet. Many will find themselves connecting more with the previously unseen kingdoms of nature and through this interaction healing. It is important to make note that the interface or overlay that kept us from connecting fully with nature is no longer present because it could not stay active in the increasing vibration of the world and her people. This is why it is so important to keep our vibration high and to heal what brings it low. With our very vibration we shift the world. Second council member then spoke, The sun will continue to be very active as you go forward in this transition. There is much activity that is not recognizable by your instruments, yet the sensitive among you will feel these energies. The information being sent no longer simply contains awakening and remembering codes. It now holds codes for your next steps. Each person carries within them coding that is to be activated, turned on, when the time is right. That time is now. You have moved into a new phase at a personal and planetary level that will bring about large shifts within the micro level of your world. The macro level will be affected when enough have shifted their micro. We ask that each person draw their focus within. What can you do to make your life more aligned with your truth? This is the most important question to be asked at this time. Do not wait for the world to align with you. Rather align to your truth, your knowing, and let the world do what it will. The coding coming forth is activating the next steps of this journey, awakening it within you. Yet it is through your alignment that this activation becomes action and direction. It is through action that you ground the information into something tangible. You may notice that pervasive unease and anxiety are being felt by many. This may be interpreted as incoming doom and gloom. In fact, you will find confirmation of the doom and gloom in your media. Yet that is not the reason for the unease, unless that is the desired outcome you wish to create. The unease is your indicator that something within your personal world is out of alignment. There may be something that needs to be seen, understood, or an action that needs to be taken. This will be heightened as you receive the codes that awaken you to your next steps. To understand what the unease is telling you, quieting your mind and ensuring that you are as clear as possible will be essential. If your mind and body, both physical and etheric, are busy with all that the world would like you to pay attention to, deciphering your next steps will be much more difficult. This is where maintaining the integrity of your energetic field and connecting with nature will assist you greatly. I question how this could make people feel that have not connected in with themselves or begun the process of honoring self, and it was described as a fire alarm going off that you can only feel, not hear. This has the potential to be very overwhelming. Understanding this will make our interactions with people easier. Many of you will find yourselves energized with ideas and receiving confirmations. This is particularly for those who have felt that their journeys have been in a holding pattern. Others will begin to grasp their potential and what their heart holds. Many will find themselves asking, what does my soul want? This can be different from what the human wants. Upon glimpsing this truth, their task will be to move through the limitations created by a fixed world. These codes coming in from your son will be sent in intervals so that there is time for integration between each activation. Simultaneously, you will find that your son is 
also exhibiting increased activity that can be categorized. You may find that there is a pattern between the two. There is much excitement and joy as reaching this phase of ascension has been an anticipated event. We want you to know that you are loved and guided. The next steps of our evolution are being activated within you. Allow them to unfold within your heart and then breathe them into existence within your physical plane. I thank the council members for their message. This morning I was on Facebook and saw this message from Jennifer Hoffman that she had posted yesterday, the same day I received the channeling. This is what she says. Today we have another big energy event which is a highlight of this year. The change in the lunar nodes to Taurus Scorpio, something that happens every 1.5 to 2 years and 19 year cycles. So go back to April 14th, 2003, which is the last time we had the lunar nodes in this position. And I point this out because it's when we started on the active phases of this ascension cycle. Prior to that, it had been happening in the background, and then it became very public. It's the year I was first contacted by Archangel Uriel in October. And I started writing and channeling, as did Karen Bishop and others who were pioneers in the Ascension work. We're coming full circle on that cycle and starting a new one. It's Ascension 2.0 starting today. This is a beautiful confirmation of what the Council was saying. We have entered a new phase of Ascension. I hope that you are well and finding you are embracing more of who you are at the deepest level every day. From JennySchiltz.com and from Divine Sister of the Light Rachel's Butterfly Effect, Earth Star Activation, Deep Grounding. The collective energy is very ungrounded today. I'm being called to remind you all to shift your energy back into the Earth. As we move through this accelerated ascension, it is important to always remain grounded as we integrate high-frequency energies into the body. Place your hand on your heart and a hand on your belly. Take a few long, slow breaths into your belly. Imagine your energy dropping down from your heart through your feet and connecting into your earth star chakra, which is located 6 to 12 inches below your feet. Watch this chakra light up and move the energy here in a clockwise motion as you anchor it into this area. Spend a few minutes here and allow your energy to anchor into the ground. This will ground your energy and help you to move forward in the physical world with less anxiety, exhaustion, and unease. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Divine Timing, the Arcturians. We invite you to swim in the expansive depths of your soul, the deep crystalline waters of your true light, to see the divine timing of every moment as your personal world aligns to the higher light consciousness of your world. We see each of you floating in a high vibrational bubble of light, enabling you to see the true aspects of your mission, unity, and light. See each breath aligning to the creation of this now moment. The great realization, the word wrong, is non-existent, but simply a choice. To be a leader of light is to understand the true harmony of now, the awakening to every thought, in a non-judgmental way. To truly see your light path, understand your light evolution is expanding incrementally to adjust to your personal light body, your physical expansion. It's a unique journey for each being. As we watch and observe the collective light flow of your world, we assist the ebbs and flows of your collective light. See us as the ambassadors of your world, aligned with the ancient light lineage of creation, as we join in the true path of universal wisdom and light, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen, sending love and deep support to the custodians of Australia, a special day of great love and awakening for many from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. The past year has forced the ego to reveal itself so you can eliminate it. Triggers have purged the energy and emotional bodies to release shadow aspects, revealing your truth. It has become easier to decide to move on in the name of love and attain your perfect match. Knowledge and intellect are guiding you to handle your emotions and have a healthier perception of your relationships. Facing the truth is what has helped you transform yourself for union. Now you have a more realistic approach to relationships that are grounded and sustainable. You are prepared, have a plan, and the ambition to have success in love and marriage. 
the divine masculine and feminine have both made the decision to release karmic bonds and move on. Together they are taking a chance to have soulful living of family, community, and tribe. They are following the guidance and making the right changes to continue unifying. As this process of union is completing within, you are also completing karmic lessons and ending of that cycle. Continue cord cutting and releasing past relationships as they surface. The body may feel sore as you release the density of those contracts, so do be gentle with the process. Know that you are healing and are revealing your confidence and light to the world. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Last quarter moon in Scorpio. The moon is brooding, sultry, thick with emotion. In Scorpio, we like to feel in control, but life's unpredictable nature is emphasized by Uranus opposing the moon and squaring the sun. It's like turning a corner and someone shouting boo. We didn't expect it. Nerves jangle, feelings bubble up. We laugh hysterically or cry. It all feels a little brittle, a little intense. The sun is conjunct asteroid Humpty Dumpty. Broken open, feeling broken, beyond repair. But asteroid Reiki is also here beside the sun. And suddenly Cohen is speaking. There is a crack, a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. The sun in cool, calm, collected Aquarius asks us to step back a moment. Temper the roiling emotional stuff. Observe what is happening with detachment. Sometimes we need a catalyst to start a chain reaction, an alchemical process. The Sabian symbol of the moon is the gold rush, tears men away from their native soil. But if we stand still, observe, be patient, we'll find that the gold we were looking for was inside all along. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time From the point of view of cosmic science, we are each a three-part entity made up of third, fourth, and fifth dimensional self. The evolution and integration of these three entities is the main purpose of life. Most spiritual traditions say that this 3D life is short and fleeting, and if we pay too much attention to it and distract ourselves in the material realm, then we will fail to achieve our higher purpose. The law of time refers to the etheric fourth dimensional being as the holon. The purpose of the holon is to allow the soul maneuverability or elasticity between shifting dimensions. The fourth dimensional self is also the spiritual, mental organizer. The fifth dimensional entity has never been born and never dies. In other words, the fifth dimensional entity is the eternal part of yourself that existed before birth and continues after death, your immortal body. As an angelic entity, the fifth dimensional self cannot deviate from divine will. These three entities communicate to each other through the mind, namely through the six plus one mental spheres, as described in earlier chapters. The six plus one mental spheres of consciousness are etherically congruent with the brain and serve as the computer or hardware of the mind. Excerpt from the book entitled Accessing Your Multidimensional Self by Red Queen, Keen 185, Stephanie South. Cosmic History Quote You control the body, the breath, and the thoughts in order to bring your whole being into alignment with the all-abiding reality. From 13moonpeacetime.com And from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 147, Blue Self-Existing Hand. Self-existing is the name for the number four, and its keywords are form, measure, and define. The fourth day of a wave spell is all about discernment. Take a closer look at your situation. Do you have all the facts? Be Sherlock Holmes today and dig around for information. The small print can have a big impact, so read in between the lines. Today is Blue Hand, which represents healing, knowing, and accomplishment. Blue Hand days can be healing, but they can also be a slap in the face. I don't mean the harmful type by the one people use when they are trying to snap a hysterical person back to their senses. Put your hands to good use today and slap yourself and loved ones, of course I mean metaphorically. As it is a number four day, healing can be more beneficial if the issue is studied more intimately. Precisely what is the matter? Pinpoint your needs. The guy today is the Blue Knight, the dreamer of the Zolkin. Whenever Blue Knight guides us, we can become quite whimsical. 
Feel free to follow your imagination today and unleash your dreams. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Self-Existing Hand, for Manique, Keen 147, 25th of January 2022, Defining and Accomplishment, The Dream of Abundance. 25 1 2022 equals 7 1 6 equals 7 7 equal 14 equal 5 7 7 magic gap portal day codes 25 spiritual wisdom learning from the past 7 magic mystic spiritual solitude initiation 14 media publicity promotion recognition 5 freedom liberation change movement Month year codes, one new beginnings, original leader, six heaven, Christ, family, romance, fertility, seven magic, mystic, spiritual, solitude, initiation, two partner, twin, cooperation, 20, the awakening, clear vision, 22, architect of peace, master builder, keen 147 equal 12 equal 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity, Blue Hand is a magical portal added to the Day 2 Galactic Activation Portal Day and 7-7 Magical Spiritual Gate. And we have another super duper phenomenal gateway today. Day 4 in the Yellow Seed Wave Spell of Flowering, Awakening, New Beginnings, Ripening, Opening to More Light and Blossoming into Our Highest Potential. Today we are defining the dream of New Earth that we are collectively co-creating. Focusing our attention on our highest potential and seeding that into the new time so that it will take form, grow, and blossom. A grand code for seeding forth our intentions into this now moment and into our brilliant, prosperous future. Bring it on, star blissons. Tone of creation, self-existing tone four operates in the mental realm. Action measures, power defines, essence form. Self-existing number four takes form and we have ourselves a square shape. Self-existing, measuring and defining. Very intelligent, fascinated by self. We have now built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Today we are using our minds to anchor our dream of our new earth through perfected healing, defining how we can access and manifest using our God-given powers. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of divine alchemy and magical manifestations through your pure heart. Go forth and manifest this new foundation. Planetary service, Keen 147, affords the gift of significant planetary healing today. We can dream our planet into the new timeline as one dreamer in the web of creation or more potently when we meditate, dream, or gather with our kinfolk. Hold and project this collective new way of dreaming into a new movie, widescreen for our planet today. Connect to Gaia and go with her flow. Release all resistance and allow yourself to enjoy the ride on her back as she forges ahead into the new time. We are making quantum progress now. Today's question is how can we accomplish healing on the deepest levels of our being in order to manifest more joy and abundance, defining a new level of existence on our beautiful planet. Divine blessings for defining a higher dream for us all. In la quetch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 147, Blue Self-Existing Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I define in order to know, measuring healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of abundance. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. 
I'd like to welcome and thank the Vine Angel of the Light, Ni Deshmane, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and Condor. And I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Daphne, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support us and help us continue bringing these teachings and transmissions to the world, you can do so with a monthly pledge at our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. And I'd like to also thank Divine Sister of the Light, Maria Richards, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission and help us carry on. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at Eagle Love Condor. If you'd like to send a check or cash, you can do so to our P.O. box in the description below. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Divine Sister of the Light Sandra Walter. This new light level commands our physical form to embody more spirit. More the new frequencies which shift us into new waveforms. Less dense particles, more light body as flowing light waves. These light frequencies purify misqualified emanations. Direct this light to your own creations. Your life stream may be completely transformed with positive intent. Divine Decrees I call forth the infinite Christ light through my heart, mind, thoughts, emotions, and creations. Purify any misqualified, destructive, or negative energy that is ever registered on my fields, body, or DNA. Consume all discord and distortion from the first separation until this now. I am restored to divine perfection. From ascensionpath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. And never forget, and always remember, that all beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas. 37, 3, 37 into the 73, heaven on earth. You are perfect, awake, and aware, just as you are in this now. There is nothing to achieve or attain, only to realize your perfection of Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness, God consciousness, which is the I Am Presence we call pure awareness. And I connect and speak to your true self now, which is listening to these words, which is hearing the reflection of your pure mind from your heart center and rise into whatever feeling this evokes within your sacred vessel, your avatar, anchor deep into the crystalline core of earth, and ascend to the holiest of holies, the holy temple, which is your true ascended self, here now, in this body, where I always am. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am that I am. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.